In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create these tiles. Uh, of course, there are millions more that you can do, but uh, these are the uh, classical uh, tiles, if you like. And uh, you can do lots and lots of patterns from these ones already. So, normally to create a tile, usually I work with the artboards, which are 1000 by 1000. So when I create a tile, I do my little square 100 by 100 pixel, so I can fit them perfectly uh, along, like, to cover the whole artboard. So let's do the square. So we go to the um, rectangle tool, click once, it's already 100 by 100, okay. I'm going to give it a grey colour. And then let's do the circle, so the ellipse tool. And we, again, we can use 100 by 100 pixel. And I'm going to change, so swap the fill and the stroke color. And I'm going to give it a black, oops, black stroke. And then I'm going to make it bigger. Let's see, 10 points. Okay. I'm going to uh, center them, so select both of them, and then horizontal, oops, not to the artboard, but to the selection, so the horizontal and vertical center. And then now we have this circle that is um, coming out a little bit from the uh, square, and to do this we need to uh, basically cut this circle into sections, so if we go to the scissor tools, or you can press C on your keyboard, and you click on the anchor points, it will chop the circle into four sections. So click into each anchor point. And then uh, what you can do is you can get rid of the sections that you don't need. And then what I do is also select both of these sections, just the sections, and then uh, expand them. So now we have this shape. So now we can move on to the next style. Again, we need a, a square. And uh, let's give it a oops, light gray color. And then in this case, we will need two circles. So if we do L on the keyboard, we make the circle, give it a black color and swap um, the fill and the stroke and then give it uh, 10 points. Oops. And uh, we make a copy of it with the Alt key. So what I like to do with these ones is to go quite close up and uh, put the center of the circle on the corner of your um, uh, square. And if you have the guides on, it will help you, uh, where is it, view, uh, smart guides, it will help you to put it in the right place. Okay. And then uh, again, we need to expand these. So object expand. And now we can select everything and shift M for the shape builder tool. And uh, by holding the alt key, we can delete uh, the excess and we can uh, group them, control G. And that's done as well. So we will have a working um, tile like that. And then for, for this one, uh, it's uh, actually quite easy. You just need to make a rectangle, 100 by 100. And then what you do is you go into, let's see if I find it, the um, delete anchor, anchor point tool, or you can just hit minus on your keyboard. and you will see a little minus next to your pen. And then you can just go into the anchor point there and click, and uh, you have your uh, triangle. For the next one, again, we need a square. 
and again I would do a light grey and again we need a circle so it's all squares and circles well almost almost all the time and then we center this here and uh, we make sure it's in the middle and then what we do is we take again our scissor tool and we click on the anchor points on the top and the bottom and this makes uh, basically cuts the shape into so it makes two halves and we can get rid of one and then group them Control G and then the last one well the second to last uh, we make another square again light grey and then we make again uh, the circle and again we make it black of course you can change the colors afterwards I'm just doing this now black for convenience and then we put it here where it says intersect so it's, so it's in the oops no I'm gonna put this at the top Okay, so with the smart guides, it would tell you when these these two align at the vertex here, and then with the Alt key, I will make another one, another copy. Oops, and I will place it on the other uh, vertex, and I will bring them to the top and then uh, select them all and with the shape builder tool let's do what we did before so get rid of the excess so I did it on the opposite sides but that really um, doesn't matter because when you uh, turn it it will be the same and then the last one is literally a line so you get your um, line segment tool and by pressing shift it will do a 45 degree line and then you can give it a, a stroke um, as thick or as thin as you like and of course if you want the rounded ends here which will help for when you make uh, the, um, the labyrinth pattern you can go into the stroke panel and you can choose round cap and I think round join is also a good idea to have so it will be round and uh, this is basically how you build these tiles but of course you can go online and you can search for more and you can see how the other tiles are built um, but there's loads and loads of them but these are um, the, the most used ones, the most um, uh, famous shall we say alright so in the next lesson I will show you how to do the manual rotation of your uh, uh, tiles. I'll see you in the next lesson.